Hey YouTube friends and family. How's everybody doing? My heart hopes that all of you are doing well. I wanted to get on here. Well actually I didn't want to get on here. And then I did and then I didn't. Today is August 25th, Sunday. And I'm a little hesitant because so many people are misunderstanding the meaning behind my words. And I really don't know how to say things any clearer. In my last video, I was sarcastic when I talk about politics or our government or uh, our prez. I do get sarcastic. I certainly do. And the reason I do is we have a lot vested in this world, each and every one of us. And the investments that we've made here in this country are just many. And to see in a short period of time one man single handedly taking our country down is very hard to watch especially for a person my age because we were brought up and raised to be loyal loyal to one another loyal to our country loyal to our God and it's hard to watch it be destroyed so if I offended anybody with my sarcasm then I apologize because I didn't mean to offend but I meant what I said and I meant the way I said it. I am not a racist person as I was called. Not a racist bone in my body. I love everybody everyone, even people we're not supposed to love. I ask that they be blessed. Anyway, enough of that. I wanted to share with some, something with you that I wrote and I'll try and do it as quick as I can. I'm not an avid reader like my children. Part of that is my eyeballs I have to wear these little googles, goggles, things. But Pink may have found an answer for that. She certainly did, and I'm going to look into it. Have you ever noticed the synchronicity in life? I have. More so lately than ever before. Whether it be my age, my life experiences, or just plain having eyes and ears open more than in years past. I find it showing up more and more. It is amazing how so many things that happen in one person's world seem to be happening in another person's world as well. Sometimes it's an incident that can travel worldwide happening to many people in many places at near the same time and very near the same exact events as though we were all linked by some unseen force of nature ribbon together creating one supercharged energy being derived of many energies incidences not exact but in likeness with the final outcome being so familiar to one another. While chatting with a newfound friend and sister in one of the many forums scattered throughout the internet, I was amazed at the story that she was telling me. It was so familiar to me. 
a story that followed the same exact road, the same mapping of a recent episode in my own life. She went into great, great detail, laced in colorful descriptions that painted a picture in my mind, a picture that was familiar to me. I was awed that this woman, whom lived nearly 2,500 miles from my home, had experienced so much of the same exact situations that I, myself, had experienced. As if our worlds were somehow linked, yet she didn't know me, nor did I really know her. It is so true that a higher being, a universal God, did not create borders that we refer to. Those used to block or barricade our properties, states for instance, being well measured out and separated as individual belongings to certain occupants within a defined area, lined out by invisible measurements and invisible lines. I, for one, am an Idahoan. I live in the state of Idaho and live in a country called the United States of America. She's from the state of Florida, which is also measured invisibly lined and included as property in the United States of America. Dividing she and I are a number of man-made borders, ten states to be exact, each with two borders to cross. So twenty borders divide this woman and myself. Yet somehow, some powerful force links us together. I wonder what it would be like with no borders. Could this idea be the idea from the beginning of time? The Garden of Eden, perhaps, being one big open space of beauty, the beauty of Mother Earth, shared by all without borders, barriers, or division. Would man and woman alike see no differences in one another had no one built the invisible barriers for our disciplined recognition? Barriers that make us see each other as different. The ideals that this country or that country is the best, the biggest, the strongest, the richest, etc. Has that not caused a division deep within the spirits of mankind? Do the people of one country not think themselves better than the people of another? Why is this so? How could we have come to this point in time? Has it not caused so much pain throughout the years? Hasn't every war been based on the territorial perception of mankind in one fashion or another? Given this idea, has it not caused a moral catastrophe where judging one another comes into play? I watch as children play so freely with one another. They do not see color, nor do they see any boundaries until the adult says to them, stay in your own yard. I listen as children laugh and talk in the verbiage of love without any barriers. Yet we the great teachers and leaders of the world cannot see without borders and boundaries. 
and this we pass on to the innocence of our own children. Each generation becoming more and more divided, or so it would seem, given the status of our world today. Let it be known, my dear friends and families, worldwide, that on a much higher authority, I know that we are all linked, as if spiritual ribbons tie us together. Our spirits are on the same page in the book of greatness scripted and spoken by the One, our universal Creator, God Almighty Himself. All one need do is look around, use your eyes and ears to see the real truth, and to d discern the truth from the deception. Proof is everywhere, even in the eyes of the newborn child. Smile at your neighbor and know that your neighbor feels very much the same as you. Know that they feel tired, frightened, concerned, hungry, happy, and sad, just as you do. Focus on the needs of others rather than always the needs of your yourself. And in the end of things, you will gain. From what I understand, you gain tenfold. Imagine that. Ten times the love. Ten times the hope. Ten times the hugs. Happiness and the fulfillment of spiritual joy. Wow. Now that is something to brighten one's day. It certainly is. No. We cannot by ourselves, individually, change the way the world is. It has become so corrupt. But we can love one another in our groups. And groups, remember, are ribboned with other groups. We can remove the boundaries that we have created within our own hearts. Those boundaries that stop us and prevent us from sharing with one another. Turning off the televisions, computers, and cell phones for just a little while. Talk and laugh together. Have a picnic or a brunch. Walk along a creek or the river banks that whisper Mother Earth's love as they rustle past. Sit and visit in, f in the front yard of your neighbor's house just long enough to make them smile, or better yet, until they laugh. We can spread the joy that makes our spirits thrive. Just you and me, my friends, my family, ribboned together and loving every day we have to share. As we travel into the tomorrows that we have left and practice sharing who knows how many new friends we can invite into our circles of love and friendship. You're all invited to join me in my borderless circle of love and, of course, the hugs. Thank you for being here in this now, our now, with me. I love you all, and whatever's coming, let's enjoy today and share the love, talk to the waters, 
Heal them. Heal Mother Earth. Heal the spirit of your neighbors. And they heal yours. May God bless each and every one of you. I love you. Great big hugs.